It wasn't an easy road for Rashid Nourouzi. Before settling in Paris, he fled with his family from Iran in 2013. After applying for political asylum, he was granted refugee status in 2015. When I arrived here, I stayed in halls. I shared a flat with six other people. But then I told myself, if I want to concentrate on my family, I need to get away from all of this. I now have my own flat, and my children speak very good French. I also enjoy my job. I've become a chef. His move to France took a turn for the better when he met the owners of an unconventional kitchen. The other cooks are also refugees. They come from Ethiopia, Syria, Chechnya, Afghanistan or Nepal. And prepare dishes from their home countries, making for a wide-ranging menu. Many Iranian recipes call for saffron, rose water, and plenty of rice. We also have this dairy product called kashk, made from sheep's milk. We use it in a lot of dishes. The cooks are given career advice, and French is the go-to language in the kitchen. A way to help them settle into a new country, as the kitchen has become more than just a workspace. We're like a family here. We're not your ordinary colleagues. We spend half of the day together, sometimes more. We eat together, we chat. Even if we don't understand each other's first language, we can still spend time together. I'm happy. This is like my second family. A project that began at the height of the refugee crisis in 2015. Hello. When food and travel enthusiast Louis Jacot decided to take on a new challenge with a friend. The narrative towards migrants and refugees had always been quite pessimistic. They were portrayed in a negative way. So we thought we'd try to make something positive by putting forward their different cultures. We hoped we could do our bit to change people's views and show that refugees can contribute to our society, starting with these recipes. A bit that worked out. Orders have been soaring over the past three years, allowing the owners to mix social objectives with financial success. We're not hiding the fact that we want this project to be profitable, but it must be done in a good way. Our aim is to give our employees a permanent contract. Everyone here has one. We're not like Uber, where workers are left to themselves. The team finally opened a restaurant in Paris this year, and customers have been coming back for more. I took the aubergine caviar. I think it's from Afghanistan, although you can find it pretty much anywhere in the Middle East. We've traveled quite a bit, so it's nice to be able to enjoy all this food again. Thanks to these refugees, we get to try food we've never tasted before. And also helping them to integrate through work while bringing their culture through food. It's great. While the cooks have been able to obtain residence and work permits, not all asylum seekers experience the same outcome. In 2018, out of 123,000 requests, just over a third were granted asylum or international protection by the French government.